Here are the stories making news at this hour. I'm Suzanne Lemonyo. At least 60 people are feared dead right now, and tourists were forced to flee a beach resort in Greece after gale force winds and very dry conditions fueled several large fires near Athens. Kenneth Craig has that story. Gale force winds fueled several large wildfires raging across seaside towns near Athens, Greece. Witnesses say the fires are changing direction so quickly that many people are being caught off guard. Some people swam out to sea to escape the flames, rescued by fishing boats. In a heartbreaking discovery, Red Cross workers found more than two dozen bodies huddled together, hugging each other. Firefighters from across Europe are racing to the area to help battle the flames. Drone video shows homes and cars reduced to charred metal and ash. One woman broke down in tears as she toured the devastation. Tourists in one resort community were being evacuated by bus, but thick smoke is making driving nearly impossible. Officials used a flotilla of boats to rescue 700 people in the midst of the deadliest fire season to hit Greece in more than 10 years. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, New York. And now here's Ed Curran with your forecast. I am meteorologist Ed Curran with your weather update. And as we go through the afternoon, I expect to see us develop a little bit of a lake breeze. And as we get that breeze coming in, we can develop some clouds. And within those clouds, we can actually see a few radar returns possible here. So we do have the possibility to have a few sprinkles out of the clouds from that lake breeze. We don't have a lot of moisture to play with here, so uh, it's just a spotty chance, just a slight chance for an isolated sprinkle along the lake breeze. Then as we go into the nighttime hours, we clear things off. We bring through a kind of a weak cold front and we're in good shape. And then Wednesday night, we have another front that's approaching the Chicago area here. And it comes in Wednesday night into Thursday and can bring with it just some spotty showers and some colder air on the other side of it. So for today, 85 degrees for a high. Normal high for this date is 84 degrees, so we're right where we ought to be. Northeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Clear skies tonight. Typical temps 67 degrees. You'll see the moon about 87% uh, illuminated as we head toward a full moon. And after today's 85 degrees, tomorrow we're looking at 87 at sunshine. Then that chance of rain as we head into Thursday with a temperature coming in around 82 degrees. And then the colder air on the other side of the front gives us temps that are only in the upper 70s for Friday and for Saturday. Enjoy your day.